inspiration can come in all sizes, even in the form of a gavelier. To conduct the next session, we have a distinguished Toastmaster who is a freelancer, freelance corporate soft skill trainer, a Toastmaster for 17 years, past division director, six times district speech contest finalist. Please help me welcome distinguished Toastmaster Matthew Jacob. Hey, thank you, Asma. Good afternoon, my dear Toastmasters and all the guests who are present here in this wonderful, on this wonderful day. Are you excited? Well, I'm really excited about the session that is coming in. Now, in case you're not excited, I'll tell you some of the reasons you may want to be excited. Do you know this year, the first time ever, a worldwide speech contest was conducted for Gavaliers. So in case you don't know who a Gavalier is, that's a child Toastmaster. 125 Gavel clubs from Australia to Singapore, to Canada, to Ghana, to Dubai, to India, more than 2,500 Gavaliers. Three rounds of speech contests, the final of which had as a chief guest, Toastmaster International President Distinguished Distinguished Toastmaster Richard Peck and one cute little girl from Doha emerged as the champion and who wouldn't want to meet this cute little girl, the first ever Gavalier World Champion of Public Speaking? Well, this is what we are going to do, meet the World Champion. Now, before I bring in the World Champion or present before you, let us take a quick glimpse at her winning speech. Now, Zoom Marcel, can we play the video now, please? The topic is string of your life. String of your life, Gavilya Afrin Matsud. Two classes, scenario one. Okay, class, so that's how you can make crystals using copper sulfate. Any doubts? Afreen, are you paying attention to class or are you sitting and chatting over there? Afreen? Yes, ma'am? Tell me, how can you make crystals using copper sulfate? Um, ma'am? Contest chair, anonymous judges, fellow guests, gamblers, and everyone present in this platform. Good day. Now, let's move on to scenario two. Okay, class, Afreen will be summarizing the points which we discussed. Afreen? Yes, sir. Um, point number one is... These are the scenarios nowadays if we talk about online classes. As a child, what can we do in return when our parents are doing so much for us? So much does not mean buying you gifts, toys, shoes, etc. It means how much they love you, how much they care about you, how much they spend time with you. In return, you can't be giving them your overconfidence and complaints about you. Hard work beats talent. When talent doesn't work hard. These are the words of Tim Notke. My mom always reminds me, this is you and this is your fellow schoolmate. You have talent. You're born with it. But your schoolmate isn't. You say, oh, I have talent, I don't need to practice. But your schoolmate practices even though she does not have talent. And from a moderate level, she reaches the advanced level again. That's why we have parents. They will be there whenever we want them. They worry about you because they care about you. And they go behind you because they want the best for you.
wow my goodness did i not tell you why you need to be excited my goodness so those who are trying to become a world champion of public speaking toastmasters i think you finish your dream before people like her gets into toastmasters now are you ready to meet her now yes let us bring in the champion now she is a grade 8 student at birla public school doha qatar a passionate indian classical kathak dancer who bagged first position in all india bal kala utsavs kathak dance contest held at new delhi in 2019 she has also grabbed several accolades in acting elocution and of course public speaking and district 121 would be happy to learn that she, she hails from within the geographical jurisdiction of district 121 she hails from kerala ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's my privilege to present before you the gavalier world champion afreen maksur thank you thank you so much district 121 annual conference committee for this opportunity thank you so much there you go afreen congratulations on your achievements and we all of us are truly truly very proud of you now helping us to find out more about afreen by talking to her is another gavalier who is no less in achievements a grade 9 student from ideal english school malappuram whose hobbies are reading gardening playing football etc is a state champion of art of storytelling an emerging anchor a youtuber who host his own channel named kichu's let's english i'm equally privileged to introduce the host of this interview aham bicha thank you very much aham welcome to the session now now those masters be ready to listen to this interview aham the stage is yours let us find out more about afreen in the session over to you aham thank you very much distinguished those master matthew sir respected those masters and honorable guests a great day for all of you i am indeed delighted to be here and about the conversation we get to have today First of all, congratulations, Gavilya Free, in becoming the first ever World Gavel Champion of Public Speaking 2021. So, uh, how are you right now? Hope you're doing good. Yes, I'm fine. I'm perfect. Okay. Public speaking is a big word which has a big meaning, and we all have different perspectives and viewpoints about this particular word. What is what do you think public speaking means to you, Gabriel Freen? Public speaking does not mean that you choose a topic and then write about it and then speak about it. It means that you're spreading a positive message, an inspirational quote, or inspirational thought, or a positive vibe to the listeners or the audience. Let's say, for example, that this is a Five minute discussion, and I've got hundred listeners. So that is five into hundred, five hundred minutes in my hands. So don't you think that whatever message I want to spread to the world needs to have even a small impact on others? And overall, public speaking will give us a voice to make the future better and brighter. that is indeed a great new point on this particular bird if i was in your state and if i was announced as a world champion like all of us dream here i would be going crazy so what was the feeling or reaction you had when your name was announced as the world champion well well of course i was crazy too i was extremely happy because who wouldn't feel happy if they have won any contest and at the same time i was um a little sad on the fact that i couldn't speak on stage you know what i'm talking about the contest was conducted virtually but had no glitches whatsoever but i still felt that it would be way better being a physical contest but it's all for our safety that's the right yes covid-19 has hit many people and has affected many people but at the same time it has changed thousands of people i think if covid nineteen wasn't there i would not be here talking to you today so uh, i'm sure those masters of gavel club must have helped you in your career of public speaking and leadership 
How did you get into those masters? Ooh, we have to go way long back. My mom, my mom is a Toastmaster. And when I was around the age of 10 or 11, I started going to her club meetings. And I distinctly remember the first time I had attended a meeting and it was her club meetings. So I was completely blank. What, I countered grammarian? I already learned English in school. I don't, I don't want another lecture. But at the end of the day, everything went smooth like butter. I even had my first table topic speech delivered there. And yeah, here I am. That's my first step to my journey. Yes, anyone who joins the Toastmaster meeting for the first time, they will be, what is this? But when they join other meetings, they will be impressed and will be having a feeling that, yes, we also need to join the Toastmasters. Um, who or what inspires you to select a message for your speeches? Because even I am found in different situations where I couldn't just get a good message for my script. So what inspires you to select a message? Really nice question. I seek inspiration from myself to write my speeches. We don't have to invent or create any stories to add into our speeches. Just implement a takeaway we learned in our day-to-day -day life. The things that happened to us or happened around us, etc. And when we do so, we speak from our heart and we speak our experience. We deliver the message in a different perspective and a different style. By sharing our experiences, the audience can relate to our speech and, you know, they never feel like they're drifting away from what we're saying. So instead, if we have the internet, if we use facts from the internet, we might not know what they said is true. So we don't want to give the audience the wrong message. So I seek inspiration from myself or something around happening around me for my speeches. That's a great thought. I'm going to note that point because that was very helpful for me because I always struggle making great, good scripts. I heard that you have many hobbies. You love dancing, acting, cycling, cooking, storytelling, no doubt, public speaking, and you also go to academics. So how do you prioritize your work? That's a really hard question. Well, I should say that I'm just a kid and I don't have any responsibilities, major responsibilities. All I have to do is study, do well in my extracurricular activities and have moral values. I don't have to work or pay for the bill, raise a child, cook, clean, etc. So what I do is I would prioritize something which is more important to me like studies and then for extracurricular activities but my moral values will just come through in all of them that's what i do wonderful um when you were about to deliver your first speech what was the feeling you had like i've seen many others some may be nervous some may be excited about delivering their first speech so what was the feeling you had when you're about to deliver your first speech um i joined my club around when they had their annual club contest so i delivered my first speech in the contest well it was not the slickest contest for me i was not scared at the beginning to deliver but the moment i had delivered the opening of my speech bam my phone was dead it was out of battery and let me tell you i got more than scared and more than nervous also to make it more dramatic neither of my Neither of my parents were at home, so it was a terrifying experience for me. My mom had um, my mom had joined the meeting online, so she saw that I logged off and immediately called me on the landline, and my sister helped me to set another device. I was taken as the last speaker, and yes, I was really nervous because who wouldn't be after all that happened? But everything went well, and I secured first place. Onwards, I was never really scared to deliver any speech, except sometimes table topics. 
that's an experience which we all uh, wish to never dream of because who missing an opportunity in that type of stage after lots of hard work is something we will never you know be grateful for ladies and gentlemen if you meet anyone around the world you will ask this particular question so just out of curiosity i'm also going to ask this question what is your ambition interesting question even now i muse on what i want to become as a matter of fact it keeps on changing because when i was in kindergarten i would wonder to become a teacher when i grew up then once i went to the dentist and i would be fascinated by the tools and everything they use and i would say no i want to become a dentist then sometimes i would want to become like my mom go to the office and work from time to time i would also think to become a businesswoman because my dad has his own it keeps on changing but when i settle on one i'll surely update you all right away you still have a long way to go and have time to choose an ambition for you i also heard that you are a, a good cutter dancer as well so if you are given the opportunity which one would you like to be more famous you would like to be known as a public speaker or as a dancer oh that's a really difficult question but to be frank i would say there is no harm in being popular on both or famous on both i would love to be a famous dancer and a speaker and many other activities or hobbies which i would take up in the future but you know it all depends some parts of us change when we grow up so if i'm unable to multitask or focus on numerous things at a certain period when i grow up definitely i would be famous or well known for all and becoming an all-rounder but if i grow up and feel that it puts too much pressure on me yes i would stick to one but that would be a really hard choice for my career so i'll try my level best to be able to multitask that's great um everyone who is present here in this meeting would have a role model or an inspiration so who admires you who you admire or look up to my my parents are my greatest inspiration and my role model well it's obvious my mom is the one who helps me identify all my talents she enrolls me in various clubs helps me through my day-to-day -day activities and my dad helps me in keeping fit and often cracks dad jokes um which which i add on to my humor speeches and they help me so much in my day-to-day -day tasks they brought me up they raised me well we can all agree that raising a child is pretty hard they taught me how to be strong and no matter whatever challenges they go through they will always provide the best they can for us they are my greatest inspiration and they will be forever looks like there's many people in the chat box relating to you yes uh, our first role model would be our parents and i'm sure you have an inspiration message to give out for all the those masters and yes present here so do you have a message to all of us of course of course i do and um, this is to all the toastmasters with kids and if there are any cavaliers here we kids we are the next generation the future we are the next generation we are the future our voice is the future when we grow up it's not even grow up right now it's our responsibility to raise up our voice we have so much power in our voice we are the right ones to plant the seeds of values among people water them and let it grow into a beautiful garden filled with um, love compassion kindness integrity whatsoever but 
We need to know how to raise our voice. It's only been harder for us to socialize since the pandemic. Everything is virtual. If I, I remember back when we had class, classes, school on campus, the teacher would scold us to stop talking. We would keep on talking continuously every minute. But now the teachers are begging us to unmute and speak. And I feel that the best solution we can do is to raise our voice and make the future better and enroll enroll yourselves in Gavel's Club. Gavel's Club is just like Toastmasters, just for kids under the age of 18 and above 12. It, it helps to give the generation a voice to speak, how to speak, and the mentors will help us grow, eventually making a brighter, better, better future for us. And please don't force them into joining Gavel's Club. This is just if you're interested, they can join. That's that's what I have to say. I remember a quote by, said by Albert Einstein, there's an opportunity in every crisis. Yes, Gavel's Club has also improved uh, my public speaking skills and leadership skills, and I'm sure everyone can find some, can find some help from this particular Gavel's Club. Thank you very much, Afreen, for joining, and I thank District one to one for giving me this opportunity, especially BTM Srikumar sir and Matthew sir. Thank you very much once again, and back to you, distinguished Toastmaster master Matthew Jacob. Wow, Aham, thank you so very much. I'm sure that all of us will, uh, all of us who present will agree with me that we know Afrin is a person much better, and the entire credit goes to Aham, the person who conducted the interview. And ladies and gentlemen, please understand that Aham is another champion in the making. So we one day hope to see him as a world champion or the Gavile world champion as well. Right, thank you, Aham. Afrin, in fact, I had asked, I had thought of asking a question, but then I, I think I have asked you the question already. Like, what would be the message that you would give to the parents of children of your age? Anyway, and, and just still we are running. Uh, late i don't want to discuss further on that i really really from the bottom of my, my heart and on behalf of every toastmaster of district 121 and everyone who is present here today thank you so very much and uh, ladies and gentlemen please know that afreen had to skip a school today to be with us because that is the time in the place where she is the schools are running now so once again thank you aham thank you afreen for okay. entertaining us and educating us now may i request our conference chair Distinguished Toastmaster Malini Habba to come online and uh, felicitate both Afreen and Neh. Uh, Matthew Jacob, you hit the nail on the head when you asked the Toastmasters who are present today to try for the championship before these two turn 18. Yes, that was the best message you could give to any one of us, both Ayan and Afreen. I must say, both of you have your names starting with letter A. So you are ace players. What a joy it was to listen to you and to behold you.